Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and um, this is another RealFlow tutorial. It's the RealFlow plugin for Cinema 4D, and uh, we're going to be looking at another daemon, and this daemon is the K Speed daemon. So let's get stuck in as normal. We'll go and create a sphere emitter, I think. And um, what else are we going to have to do? Go to Scene, Solver, and use my GPU. And uh, we're also going to go to the fluid and make our particles bigger for you guys. Okay, so let's add our daemon. Uh, real flow, daemons, K speed. So this is the last in the K, uh, the, K, the K ones. I've done age, isolated and volume. So this is going to be another nice, nice and quick one. <clears throat> okay, so the K speed daemon. At the moment, I've got this emitter. Crapping out particles over three seconds. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of randomness to this just to. There we go. There we go. Right, so let's have a look at our demon. As always, we've got the link fluid at the top. It's automatically added it because um, there's only one in the scene. And then underneath that, we've got min speed, max speed, limit and keep, split, bounded. Okay, so let's go through each of these then. Minimum speed. Um, so particles with velocities lower than this value will be deleted. So let's have a look at the emitter. There's no gravity in the scene. There's no other forces apart from the force of the emitter. And it's crapping out at a speed of 200 centimeters. Okay, so let's have a look at this then. So anything below this minimum speed uh, will be deleted. Well, the speed's zero, so nothing's going to get deleted. Okay, so what about things under... 128 well nothing's changed again because the speed of the particles is at least 200 um, some may be faster some may be slower because of interactions between particles may force them off each other so if we start getting close to that value so maybe 180 um, it's probably nothing different plus I need to reset the okay so let's try going up some more still the same Let's approach 195, and still no difference. So it's definitely that value, and 200. Okay, so now we're going to creep over that value, 201. Very little change. So let's crank it up to 210 and see if we get a difference. So let's actually see the difference between 0, which is this, to 220. There we go. Now we can see that some of these particles have been eradicated. If I flip between 0 and 220, we can see that actually a lot of those particles are actually getting culled off now. So you can control particles with the min speed. The max speed, I'm just going to put this back down to 0. The max speed is a limit of 1,000. And with the max speed, it's exactly the particle, uh, exactly the opposite. So the particles' velocities over this limit will be removed. Okay. So, are the particles over this limit? No, because we know they're around 200. So if we start dragging this down, we should start seeing a difference as we approach 200 this way. So we're under it now. So now we can see the difference between, oh, sorry, not zero. I think it was a thousand, wasn't it? Yeah. Bear with me. A thousand and 180. So you can cull the uh, particles off using the max speed as well. Now we've got this limit and keep. Okay, so with this option, particles will not be removed, but um, they're kept, but their velocity is limited to the minimax speed. So let's try speeding them up. Um, I'm going to put this back to a thousand, and then I'm going to speed these particles up by putting the randomness up to a point where the colli there's collisions happening, which makes the particles more erratic. So you can see that because the randomness is up, they're colliding, and it may be increased. Well, we know it's increasing their velocity because of the color. Uh, if you remember. Uh, I think it's in the fluid somewhere in the display. We can see the part color, uh, particle color is um, controlled by velocity here. So the faster a particle is, the whiter it gets. So if we go back to our K speed, we, we can see that there's some white particles in there. 
So the max speed limit is a thousand. So let's bring this down to half and see what happens. Not too much. What about maybe 300? Okay, so we can see that it culled off those particles. So the difference between a thousand and 300. So it got rid of those faster moving particles. But if we um, press the limit and keep button, what it should do is take those particles that were too fast and actually dampen that uh, velocity. Um, so it will drag their velocities down and limit them to this value. So let's click this on and we can see we've got a whole load more particles now, but they're being limited to this 300 mark. That also works for the min speed as well. So it works for both of these. And that is pretty much it, guys, because if you remember in the uh, previous tutorial, when I talked about the k-speed, um, you'll know that the split function is not something that works at the moment. So um, if we're killing these off at, okay, say this value, instead of them being killed, they'll be split off into... If you check, check this on, split is set to yes, so ticked on. And then you can say, uh, well, what, what is that particle going to be split into? So let's say 20 particles. They're obviously not being split into 20 particles. If I turn split on and off, you can see there's no difference. And this is a bug within the real flow um, uh, plugin at the moment. So if you're doing this and going, why is nothing happening? It's because it's broke at present. Okay, so we can forget about split and child for now. Again, I'll update you when that changes. And then we've got this uh, interesting value here called bounded. So if you click that on, we get this sphere. And um, let's just colour a load of these particles off. Uh, in fact, let's move this out of the way. Okay. Right. I'm just going to stop this a minute because the... Uh, so this is our bounded. Um, we've got it checked on. There's no drop down, so you can't choose the shape. It's just spherical. And if you go into object, we can choose its width and height and all those things. So, uh, well, actually, you can't choose its height. It's just width and width and depth. Okay, so let's set this to, I don't know, 250. Now, I'm not sure whether that height thing should be grayed out like that or, or not. But um, what we can do is we can make this, uh, well, because it's bounded, it only affects particles that are within this bounded shape. So if we kick it off again, we can see now that as I move this up, it starts to kill any particles based on speed purely in, these, in this area. So you can actually control the shape. So there we go. We've got something spurting out the top there. And uh, we could even bring our kill speed down to even lower amount, so it kills more of these particles. Anything under this speed dies. I could even set this to zero. So it kills anything coming within it. And I'm sure you could get some funny results with that if you animated it. It's too close. There we go. So there we go. Uh, that's pretty much covers it for the uh, K-Speed Demon. Uh, as always, check out my Patreon page. There'll be a link on the outro animation at the end of this video. You can follow me on uh, social media as well, so Facebook and Twitter. You'll find me at Digital Meat. And don't forget to check out the website, uh, digitalmeat.uk. Okay, cheers, guys. Thanks for listening. Bye.